Hey guys, so recently in the past couple days, there's been a lot of threads on the Reddit talking about supports, support shortage and boldness, and how supports are basically selling spots or selling themselves to other DPSs to help them do Voldus. Now, that's kind of split in terms of the opinions of people on whether or not this should be a thing, right? Some people, especially the supports, are on the side of like, hey, I think that this is totally fine because look, you guys have been selling DPS spots for, you know, or busing for a long time. This is about our time to come in and sell our services, right? Which is the whole point of this meme right here. Um, and there's some people who are like, you know, imagine paying for a DPS, um, paying for uh, the services of this uh, guy as a DPS. And it's a little bit split. Now, for me, what I think is, I personally am on the side of, I don't think it makes sense for people to sell their support um, services. Of course, I think it's one, a free economy. So if there's a demand for something, right? You should totally take advantage of it and do it. Um, you should go and sell it. Is it healthy for the game? No, but you can also argue that busing is not healthy for the game. But I think this is unhealthy in a way that's like really, really impactful to the game, which is why I especially don't think they don't it. Busing, I'm more okay with, um, but this I think is a, taking it a step too far. Let me talk about the reasons why, okay? So this whole argument that DPS selling spot, bus spots is okay, but support selling bus raid spots is not okay, I think is kind of dumb, I guess, because supports, for one, can also participate in buses. Many times in the past, I have bust and wanted to bring a support on the run because I didn't want to use pots, I wanted to make it more reliable, and I wanted to have yearning. So <laughs> I brought a support with me. So supports can sell buses. I don't know why people are saying like, oh, DPS selling buses spots. So what do you mean? So supports can sell rates, uh, rate spots. I, I don't get it. Like supports can bus, like that's a thing. But two, there's a fundamental difference with supports selling rate spots versus buses. So here's the thing. Here's the difference. Raids done on item level for our current content are required. Busing is not required. Somebody who wants to buy a bus is doing it off of their own choice of saving time, saving, you know, being lazy, all those reasons, right? So that's why people buy a bus. You're doing a service to them that they're voluntarily saying, okay, I would rather do this than run it normally. Ra or sometimes, you know, they might get a gate kept. But I'd say for the most part, it's because people are lazy or don't have enough time. With raids, that is not really a voluntary thing. You can say it's voluntary because you don't have to do it, but everybody wants to do it to be able to upgrade their characters and get to the latest end game content. And they're not looking for a service. That, that's the difference. They're not looking for a service. If they could do it, like if they could have a choice, they would do it with a support normally. They're not looking for the service. This is something that, you know, the supports are basically forcing upon them. But also, if you think about it another way, let's say everybody starts selling buses, right? Everyone in Lost Ark starts selling buses. Well, what's gonna happen? A certain number of parties are gonna fill up, but a certain number of parties, probably the vast majority of them are not gonna fill up because there's not enough buyers. There's not enough people who are wanting the service that uh, you know are looking for buses. And what's gonna happen? It's gonna take forever for those people who are selling buses to find a party. So eventually some people are just gonna give up and be like, all right, screw it. I'm just gonna go and do this run normally and not sell the bus. But on the flip side with the support situation, it's a bit different. Let's say every single support starts selling uh, services, right? Well, the supports can just sit there and be stubborn and eventually people will start flowing in, right? Because there are so many DPS out there that are looking to do the raid. And it's not like they can just be like, the DPS can just be like, oh, I don't want to buy the service. So I'm just going to go do this raid by myself. For the most part, the raid is kind of undoable 
for most people, at least on the earth, they're ridiculously skilled on item level to do it as DPS alone. You need the support. So if the supports are all selling their services, the DPS can't just select and voluntarily say, oh, okay, I don't need a support or I don't want to buy the service. So I'm going to just run the raid normally because they can't. There are no supports out there for them to do the raid normally. So what are they going to have to do? They're going to have to buy the services eventually. So it really just messes with the um, the natural flow of the game quite a bit. And I'm not a huge fan of it. But again, I'm also in the camp of it's a free market. If supports are in demand and if there are people that are going to buy support services, <laughs> go do it. It's free money. You're losing out on money if you're not doing it. So yeah, I don't like it, but I think that supports are totally not in the wrong for doing it um they should be doing it while they can and eventually there is going to be a point where they can't so this is definitely a problem of the moment and as time passes it'll probably get better because there are going to be people who aren't selling their services there are people who are just looking to run it quickly and that's always been the problem with blessing right as well trying to find buyers has kind of hard sometimes and it takes a lot of time to do so eventually what happens well someone like me who used to bus gives up on busing because they're tired of wasting time on trying to find binder buyers try, people you know scamming you or people being really slow with buying gems and things like that and then you just give up so this is definitely just a current problem it's not going to be here for long. This was the case for, I think, back when Brel was a first came out. Supports were also starting to sell their services. And for a while, that had stopped. So it's simply a problem of the moment and will not be around for much longer. All we can do now is if you don't want the services, don't buy them. I mean, it's probably not worth it to run with that support anyways. Go find a friend who has a support. Go to maybe like a Discord. Look for people outside of Lost Ark, um, the Lost Ark game party finder to find people to run with you, build a new static, things like that. Eventually the problem will go away and you know people won't be selling support services anymore. But for now, if you're a support and you want to sell your service, go ahead and do it because this is the only time you're gonna be able to do it. You're kind of ruining the game by do it, doing it, but I'm not gonna tell you don't not to do it. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the sub button, ring the bell for notifications. And also let me know in the comments down below what you think about this problem. What do you think um, support should be doing? Do you think that they should be selling? Should they not be selling? What are some solutions to this that you can think about? Let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, I stream every night on twitch.tv slash MisoXShiru starting at 10 p.m. PST. And I also multi-stream on YouTube so you can catch me on both, both platforms. So if I don't see you there, Hopefully I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace out.